As China's economy reopens following strict lockdown, so have American companies that do business in China, like McDonald's and Starbucks. Both companies said to report this week, and analysts focusing on how the reopening will impact profits. Joining us right now to talk about it is Dennis uh, Geiger. He's a UBS analyst and uh, recently reiterated his buy rating for McDonald's, saying it is well-positioned and defensive. Let's start with the China piece of this. So what do you think we're going to be hearing? Yeah, so as it relates to, to China for McDonald's, not a huge piece of the business, right? Less than 5% of overall profitability. So I would think China's going to be less of a focus for McDonald's. It'll be more uh, the U.S. And, and in Europe where we think results will be strong. As it relates to, to, to Starbucks, um, you know, we would expect China recovery, certainly after some of the developments this year, maybe not a linear recovery, but we should see a good recovery through the year. Right now, there's a reopen theme very much that's going on with China. It's, it's helping shares, as is the momentum in the U.S. So we would expect some pretty positive commentary from Starbucks, given China represents about a low double digit percentage of overall profitability for the company. How are you feeling about Starbucks more broadly? I mean, it has been on quite a run. Call it the, the Howard Schultz run. Yeah, so, so again, we, we think that the run is probably a, a factor of two things, right? One is, is the China piece and just that reopen theme, investors looking for exposure there. Starbucks, one of the best ways to get that exposure within restaurants. And the other would be the U.S. momentum. A lot of momentum in the U.S. We expect that there'll be some modest upside to the consensus number for the U.S. comp. And, you know, we think you put those two things together and, you know, there is kind of the run. From here, valuation to us looks a little bit more full as it relates to Starbucks here. Plus, we've got some concerns as it relates to the U.S. macro. Will this momentum be maintained? So we prefer McDonald's here relative to Starbucks, actually. And then where do you put Yum in that mix? So we we'll, we'll like Yum right from the, the China reopen too, right? Yeah, absolutely. So about, you know, 14 percent or so, let's say, of pre-COVID profitability came from China for, for Young Global. Um, we like that one very much. Like McDonald's, we think this is a defensive name where you can also play some offense. We think there's sort of a resiliency as a, as a trade down benefit in a tough consumer spending environment. Well, at the same time, global unit growth will be at least 5% for Yum. We think the brands are kind of are well positioned from a same store sales perspective. So we think Yum and McDonald's, you know, if the group is red, we think they'll be flat to up in, in, in a tough tape. Dennis, can we, I want to throw out a sort of a geopolitical, maybe grenade into this conversation. We were talking TikTok in the last hour uh, and when it comes to China. And I wonder what kind of risk you think exists uh, both in reality and in the stock uh, of the Starbuckses, the McDonald's, the Yums, of this skirmish, if not something worse, between the United States and China. What could happen, both in the context of what the Chinese could ultimately do to a company like Starbucks or McDonald's, but frankly, what, the, uh, uh, what Congress could do. I mean, we, we always talk about it as if the Chinese are going to do something to the American companies. I wonder whether there could ever be a sort of scarlet letter on U.S. companies doing business in China and somehow uh, Congress or others in Washington say, stop doing that. So I guess to that point, you know, Russia would obviously be, be case in point for what a downside scenario would be. We see McDonald's exiting Russia, obviously, over the last several months. Um, we see Starbucks doing the same thing. So that's kind of your, your tail risk. I would say right now, again, all the focus from a China perspective is on this on this reopen trade, what the recovery from, from a sales perspective looks like. Unit development or restaurant development has remained really strong for all the multinationals doing business in China, even over the last couple of years. So, so we think right now that's kind of the theme and the focus from an investor standpoint, you know, recognizing there certainly is some tail risk that exists out there.